Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, Marianne. <laughs> um, uh, maybe at first you can give me your name. Uh, William Bento. I am here at Rudolf Steiner College and I play out the role of the Accreditation Liaison Officer as well as being an Associate Dean and many other committees that uh, are engaged in trying to give the college an entirely new sense of its direction as we're going through the 21st century and all its demands. Exactly. Which means that education needs to be reevaluated and the more that we do this we find that the arts and the transformative approach of bringing people along in higher education really requires focus on inner work and inner development and that's the area that I do teach in at the college. So maybe you can just give me a little bit of a history of the college because it's been around for a long time and has done an awful lot of work so maybe first you can tell me a little bit about what Rudolf Steiner College has done so far. Well, Rudolf Steiner College is 37 years old now, and when it first began, it had the mission to bring Rudolf Steiner's work into America and to bring it in such a way that it would examine the spiritual roots of America. So it was actually called the uh, Center for Anthroposophical Studies uh -huh. in Sacramento. Uh -huh. And uh, shortly after that, it went through a process of seeing the need for Waldorf education. Mm -hmm. And uh, Rene Carrito was uh, an extraordinary pioneer here in the West Coast that really put Waldorf education on the map and in that respect put Ritter Steiner College as the central training center for Waldorf educators. And it's been known as that mm -hmm. in the movement for years. Mm -hmm. However, the mission was much broader than Waldorf education right. and that's what I mean we're returning to mm -hmm. a new direction, which is actually not new, but a renewing the direction that was there at the outset, is how can anthroposophy enliven so many sectors of our culture that are falling and collapsing. Maybe you can also tell me um, who, who were the people that actually started it and what their special gifts were. If... Carl Stegman, he was a Christian community priest. He and his wife, Christina, who was a Eurythmist, were actually in Oakland, but they came up to Sacramento to give series of talks mm -hmm. uh, to the Sacramento Waldorf School. Mm -hmm. And there were individuals there such as uh, Betty Staley, mm -hmm. Franklin Kane, Martin McRae, uh, Nancy Poor, and even my teacher, Willie Zucker, who listened to what Carl Stegman had to say and was one of those wits and moments that this small circle of people really felt so inspired that they asked if Carl Stegman could continue to come and he said he would come if they were ready to build a center and they said yes. Wow. And so in 1976 in February uh, there was a commitment and in September of 1976 the doors were opened for the center for the first time. Amazing. <laughs> and 37 years as far as I understand is the second moon note. It is the second moon note. It's your so. second opportunity to get it right. It's right. So, so what happened? What happened at uh, the seventeen, eighteen year old, uh, the first moon note? Do you know? I don't know. That's You'd a be good question. To speak to one of my colleagues who are actually here and yeah. present yeah. at the first moon note. Yeah. Um, I think that it was more or less the peak time for the college being a central place for wall of education uh -huh. and Rene was already at that point I think on his transition and since that period we have been in this process of I would say trying to sustain what he brought but also realizing that the world is needing something more from us than just yes. what we're doing. So, so now tell me a little bit about what the current plans are to bring this about. Well, we're on the accreditation path. That means we are going to hopefully be able to award uh, accredited degrees that will be recognized nationally. Mm -hmm. We're uh, candidates within the Western Association of Schools and Colleges. Mm -hmm. And hopefully by 2015, we will be able to be fully accredited members, mm -hmm. which will give a stature to the college. Mm -hmm. But just by being on this track, we have opened up possibilities of giving federal loans to our students. Uh -huh. We are now able to look at developing new programs. We're in the process of developing a master's in counseling psychology, uh -huh. which branches out beyond education. 
Right. We also have an interest in doing a BA completion in a couple of years. Uh -huh. So for many of those Waldorf School graduates who are looking for something more compatible mm -hmm. to what they've had in their educational experience, mm -hmm. we would like to invite them here and do their last two years of a BA, uh -huh. whether it's in uh, biodynamic agriculture, mm -hmm. the arts, mm -hmm. um, liberal arts, if you will, mm -hmm. and education and psychology. So we're putting together the possibilities of that BA completion to start within two to three years. It sounds pretty good. So in other words, the plans are in place and the people to, to actually um, implement? Well, we could always use more people. I think that yes. the resources are uh, thinner than we would like them to be. Mm -hmm. But we are in the process of looking for younger people. Yeah. Um, much of the faculty and the staff and administrator in this college have served at least two decades plus. Yeah. That's extraordinary to have that kind of retention in any organization. Yeah. Yeah. But it just shows you the dedication to the mission of Steiner's work yeah. that people are carrying, whether they're behind a desk or they're in front of a classroom. Yeah. So the current teachers, uh, maybe you can mention um, some of the people that are teaching the courses at the moment. Well, we have a course on consciousness studies mm -hmm. that Dennis Klocek teaches. And Dennis has been quite a well-known lecturer. He actually has a, a very aesthetic sensibility. He's an artist, but he also really is deeply involved in science mm -hmm. and can actually articulate the, you could say, the realms of consciousness Mm -hmm. that uh, so few can the way he does. And he always brings in 20, 30 students every year to work with him. Mm -hmm. We have in the foundation uh, year program, which is to orient people to Rudolf Steiner's basic works and right. basic ideas. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Brian Gray, who's outstanding in bringing the cosmological picture that Steiner brought forward right, right down to the very nitty gritty and practical ways in which one can take up inner work. Right. And then we have a residential uh, Waldorf training program, mm -hmm. which Patrick Wakeford Evans and Astrid uh, Stegman Schmidt mm -hmm. are involved in fostering. Mm -hmm. We have a high school program, which Betty Staley is involved in fostering. Mm -hmm. We have an early childhood education program, right. which Lauren Hickman is involved okay. in. And we have artists on board, such as Ted Mala, uh, Cynthia Hoven, Alice Stam. So all of our courses are very much taught in an integral way where the arts really help a person kind of um, assimilate these concepts that at first hand could be quite a stretch for a number of people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's a very wonderful campus. There's a tremendous beauty here. Mm -hmm. And programs like this are ongoing. We have remedial education programs. We have handcraft programs, foreign language programs. Um, but most of those are part-time programs. Yes, which is a good idea to, to get people introduced to how you can learn differently. Then um, perhaps maybe you can say something about the work of Arthur Zion, uh, who um, I think he's in Amherst, and he says that we have to do the learning in a very different way now, which is what the college, of course, fosters um, through contemplative um, mm -hmm imagining I don't know maybe you can say something about that because it's a totally different process I mean uh... well Arthur has you know been uh, very actively involved in the anthroposophical society and its movement mm -hmm. and he's at the same time been one of those few academic people yeah. who's worked with higher education for years and years I think the work of um, Parker Palmer who actually brought forward to all the educational field the need to have the courage to take up inner work as the basis yeah. for being a, let's say, a inspiring and outstanding teacher, yeah. that that resource has to be cultivated inwardly. Uh, Arthur just recently wrote a book with him uh -huh. together on higher education. Mm -hmm. But Arthur has uh, stepped into this window of opportunity where there are people questioning the paradigm of education. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And so uh, contemplative inquiry is something we've always done. It comes out of the meditative life. Yeah. And it also involves a sense of 
trusting one's own capacity to know as well as having the honesty to not know. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And less to do with how much information you can amass. Yeah. Which I mean, has been an old style of uh, higher education. Information isn't enough. Not isn't enough. enough. So maybe we can go on a totally different track. Um, what about your own work with, uh, with astrosophy? Um, how does that play into and the expertise that you get out of that? How does that play in? Well, as I mentioned, one of the early founders of Rudolf Steiner College was Willy Zucker, right. who was the uh, pioneer of a new star wisdom based on Rudolf Steiner's indications. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as he labored, there were very few people who were able to take it up. Willy Zucker passed in 1975. No, excuse me, 1985, mm -hmm. and the, the college was just established in 1976. So it was in his golden years that he wished to bring what he had to offer. Very few have taken it up. Uh, so we still have a strong reliance on star wisdom being a very reasonable way to introduce cosmology. Mm -hmm. It's not an abstraction. It's something we see every night. It's something mm -hmm. we're immersed in. Brian Gray teaches out of it, mm -hmm. but we don't teach it per se. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. Astrosophy and New Star Wisdom is being held by a small group called the Starfire Group. Right. Robert Powell, Brian Gray, mm -hmm. David Tresmer, Robert Shipakazi, and myself. Mm -hmm. We from time to time do something more than the journal, but uh, that's not the key um, for a lot of what we're doing now at the college. It's something we would like to further develop, but it takes young people asking those questions. Yes, yes. And right now, the questions are so much uh, urgent social political questions that they're involved in. Yeah. And to think in this manner, sometimes I think the young people see it as a luxury. Mm -hmm. And many of us yes. older folks have had the opportunity to study for years and exactly, years. Exactly, exactly. What about um, uh, the connection with Mary Stuart Adams uh, and the Dark Sky um, project? You know, we have conversations with Mary uh, Adams from time to time. She is still holding on to a particular track, which is a tropical astrology. And most of our work has been more with the stars per se, it's a sidereal. Mm -hmm. the sidereal yeah. And though that's not a conflict, it is definitely a difference in approach. Uh huh. So because uh, she was recently in Toronto and uh, no, in, in, in Ontario, I should uh -huh. say, and uh, gave a talk and uh, with the biodynamic people. So uh, and organic, of course, at, yep. at the University of Guelph. So I was just wondering whether she's uh, very dedicated. In are her there work. other are there other people, younger people that are taking up uh, astrosophy? We haven't seen them on the forefront as of yet, but that doesn't mean they're out there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, so we'll have to find out. Yeah. Okay. So um, I would like to really thank you very, very much because uh, people just perhaps don't know what's happening at Udor Steiner College. Yeah. And I think you've laid it out very carefully and very succinctly. And Great. I want to thank you. And perhaps we'll talk again. Uh, when uh, all these things that you're trying to put in place are there. Do, so, please. Yeah, thanks. Okay, you're welcome. All right.